the themes? Why, why do you why do you choose conflict as the, the, the themes, it all started here actually in New York. When uh, I came here in 1966, I was in England, in London, and even when I was in London and doing uh, almost like high schooling then, there, the, the issue about the war in Vietnam was a significant thing. I went to many sit-ins, they used to hold lectures about it. So when I came here, I went to New York University, there was a scene of chaos. 1968 is when I established my studio. And that was a very, so many things have happened during 1968. It's a very, very, it's, it's, it's the year of chaos, the world assassination of Robert Kennedy, of Martin Luther King. There was, uh, and there were a lot of demonstration against Vietnam. New York University was shut down during so many times we interrupted. We, uh, even my graduation, uh, we had to go somewhere else uh, for the studying art history, political science, philosophy. It seems like I was preparing myself to become, to, to do this type of work. And here, of course, the dominant scene that I found when I was here was the pop art of Warhol and, and others uh, that I uh, was surprised, you know, some of it responded a little bit, but there was not really, I did not find a lot of interesting work that responded to the subject of war. So when I started with this large painting, I went directly into the theme of the war, and, and I thought, you know, the war in Vietnam, this was thousands of miles away, but New York was a state of chaos. Under the atmosphere of Vietnam was incredible. It was incredible in New York. And then I was able to show this work in, in, in this place on 76, which was very central. And, but you know, of course, dealers, this is why uh, many dealers, when I talked with them about the subject, they told me, we cannot show things about human suffering because we really here never had war in America. So the people are going to find it very difficult. To, they like to go to see something pleasant, like, you know, beautiful face, beautiful this, beautiful that. They're not going to enjoy uh, all these wars. And immediately, a year later, the war in Lebanon broke out. And then I shifted from Vietnam and started to paint about Lebanon. And this went on for several years, even though in between I was doing uh, many other things, like the Faust series and many other things. But the main focus was the war theme. And then, when I was doing Vietnam, I was doing this, and then Lebanon, I thought, it is still part of our history that we look few more years back, look back to World War II and bring some of this powerful impact of two important things, terrible things that happened. One was the atomic bombing in Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the other was the Holocaust in Europe death of millions of people and so I did also these two series which became incorporated into the split of life painting so it's a continuation of what I look at it today 25 30 years later since Vietnam and I'm working on what on the Iraq war again it's a sub why we respond and not if I is there is no way I would be an artist I'm just uh, I think an artist cannot detach himself completely from the world, make believe that we don't live in this world. We are part of it and we respond to it in an artistic way. And this is why it's so important to bring up whatever expression, whatever sentiment, whatever feeling, whatever vision the person has. We, we, we hear there is a war with them. I have a vision of the war too, not only, you know, 
of, of the stupidity, of the nonsense, of the horror, of the suffering, of the what for? Why, why, why all this? So what would the artist sit aside and do something completely different? I always thought we have to be involved. So at that time, you know, it was uh, art for art's sake, but we could not touch political subjects. But I touched them and I immersed myself into them. And this is why uh, in my exhibition, it was called Apocalypse, you know, Nabil Kanzo. It was the word, so El Pintor del Apocalypse, painter of the apocalypse. Because they, they saw this as my vision of the apocalypse. You know, when you paint so much chaos, so much war, so much human suffering, so much brutality. But this is something that exists. It is a continuation. It's perpetuating. It is affecting our life. Of course, look at people here. They turn their back. They say, this has nothing to do with us. But it is having to do with us. Thousands of people, thousands of American soldiers have been killed. It, uh, their family have been all because They have children. They have wives. Uh, was it worth it? Was this necessary? And now today we have another war. The Russian, you know, just walked in, and two, in, in 24 hours, about 2,000 people are dead in, in Georgia. In the Russian Republic. So it's a it's a very important subject. It's a very important subject. We have to respond to it. I respond to it just as I respond to any other issue.